Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 48, November 20th. Next week is Thanksgiving. I doubt we'll be talking, but who knows? Maybe some of us will be looking for something to do that morning to avoid your relatives or whatever it is that you do. Isn't that when everybody goes to the movies? Um, anyway, it's, I just like look at this and go, wow, 48, that's a really big number. Like, you know, everybody talks about round numbers, like, ooh, 50 or something like that, but I don't know, 48 feels big to me. 48's a round number in Hex. <laughs> All right. Agenda. We actually have a pretty full day, so we'll get going through this. We'll do triage because that's the best place to start because we'll get a good feel for where we're at. We need to talk about what we're doing for this Wix 3.9 bug fix release thing. That question mark is there because I want to put some stuff out there, and then we need to talk about the way we want to do that. Um, people want to get the Wix feature 4.1.4.9 um, uninstall success page uh, on the docket, so we'll discuss that, assuming we have time after all this, which I expect we will. And then we'll, of course, always have it open for questions and comments at the end. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't here right now with us, uh, and so they can catch up later. Moving on, I think it's triage. You ready, Bob? I am ready. Uh, which one window is it? This one? Yes, this one. Ta-da! Yay, we have bugs. Um, here we go. Starting at the bottom, as we are wont to do. Did he provide the logs? No. No information on this bug yet. Uh, should we leave it open for one more week? Given that we have enough stuff to talk about today? Yeah, I'll add a comment to send a ping and Sounds if good. not, it goes away. Yeah. Doc. From here, the second example is missing that. Well, all right. I don't know if we need a bug for that, Jacob, but thank you. Yeah, we should take this fix in. I don't care. 3.10 or 4.0, wherever you want to stick it. Probably 3.10, because it's probably 3.0 doc, 3x doc. And since he's not here, how about we just give it to Jacob? <laughs> See how that, that works That is out. traditional. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And if he doesn't get it, someone will get it, because it's not that big a deal. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> I love it. Sean's totally on board. He's like, seems fair. Um, heat fails to set loggers right. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, this is... The, the, the root cause is that the build fails. I mean, the root cause of the problem is that the build fails. Um... The the loggers message bugs me. I mean, obviously you should be able to go from a list to an enumerable. So I think it's it's a bigger problem. I thought that we were all set on MS Build 12. Uh, it might be the case that that's not the case. Um, but then it's heat, so I have a limited amount of uh, sympathy or caring or pre-build events. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's why I tried to get it down to the, you know, wait, if you run this at the command line, what happens? Well, uh, still fails. Cool. So it sounds like a 3x bug. Um, yes, yes. I would like to get this. Or if a 310. It's, um... Yeah, that's a philosophical question. We might want to talk about oh, it. John says he can avoid it by forcing... Tools version. Huh. I don't that's know. interesting. So is it trying to run on MS Build 3.5? Inside well, Visual Studio 2013? No, no, 12. Oh, 12. Oh, I see. 12. Oh. Yeah, but that should work. But honestly, yeah. I have to admit I haven't tried. Well, I think... Oh, I yeah, think Blair, yeah. Blair did some work to make to support MS Build 12. I think in general it's supposed to magically work from. Oh, oh John says which... it doesn't work. So, so John, you can repro this problem then. Yeah. Oh, oh. Cool. there is a button. All right. So 3x, yeah, it's real. Okay. It doesn't work in 12, and unless someone wants to fix it. Now I'm like, yeah, sounds like a bug. We should take that. All right. Someone should fix it in 310 or 311 or 312 or, you know, <laughs> whatever it well, is, it's going to get fixed. 
Unless yeah, you I'll want it. it. I'll put it in 310 um, okay. for the moment. All right. Because it is, you know, relatively high priority. Okay. I don't know. It's heat. I get less excited. Well, sure. sorry. Yes. That's fine by me. All right. Documentation bug. Wrong attribute description for name of page in Themutal. Yeah, that sounds like a bug. Oh, the XSD is out of sync. Yeah, I'm sure it's like, yeah, go edit the element, this element, such that it says text that makes sense instead of text that does not make sense. Well, the problem is I think pretty much the XSD is used only to generate doc the documentation, so. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, we should fix it. Yeah. So, I mean, toss it in 310 and someone pick it up. I mean, it's not going to be that hard. Let's give it to Jacob, too. <laughs> Since he's going to be in their editing doc, let's just let him open two about doc things, and it'll be really easy. Wow, you've gotten evil as you get older. Uh, yeah, older. <laughs> um, 4599. Nine. Uh, I probably already fixed it my 4 pull request. So then that just means he needs to fix it. Well, we'll let Jacob look at it. Um, if he doesn't want it, it'll be in the right spot. He'll talk to us. He'll be like, what did you guys do to me? And we'll be like, yeah, that's what you get for not showing up. There you go. <sighs> yes. So um, this bug, um, yeah. same issues in 4.6. Yeah, okay. My guys at Pirate Giant jumped all over this. And we're like, this is going to hit us. <laughs> Rather, I was like, this is going to hit us. We should fix it fast. And they're like, yes. Um, so we'll talk about this bug more, but this fix is already in. So uh, can we put this in? Oh, where to put it? Uh, 310. We, well, yeah, well, we have to go. And four. <laughs> yeah, so I, I didn't want this right, bug right. to get oh. closed because yeah, yeah. we need to, because I wanted to. Um, There's uh, at least three versions we have to discuss. Well, no, it's already in 310. I think we're done there. Uh, the question is, how do we bring it 39? Yeah, and, and four. That was the third version. Um, right. And so we'll talk about this bug more, but I don't want this bug to go away until we get it in four. Either. So I didn't want to open another bug. Like, I didn't tell the, yeah, come here, open two bugs, one against three and one against four. It's like, that's seemed overkill. So, open in, th I don't know, what do we do with this? Open 3.9, and then fine. we and It will go away. Yeah, all right, fine. Right. I'll, I'll make sure they come back and close this bug as soon as it's all done. Okay, we'll clean up, I promise. All right, cool, Torch doesn't work in 4.0. Um, can we just toss this open in 4.0 and see if someone wants to fix it? If not, um, I will sweep through and pick them all up. Okay. Because, yeah, Torch somehow got broken in all changes. And it's like, yeah, okay. All right, cool. I think that's triage, right? Uh, I believe so. All right, all right, look at that. Triage, complete. Which leads us to <laughs> the thing we were almost just about kind of discussing. So I want to toss this out there. We need to figure out what we want to do about this corrupt file in 3.9, because it is corrupt, and it's bad that that got corrupt. And it probably did get corrupt the way Jacob said that given all those white space problems we had for that time period, which I'm still unclear of what happened, but the, my gut is telling me that it happened with the conversion from HG to Git on the server side. That's the only thing I can figure out because we've had no problems with it since we moved to a new repository. Anyway. Ooh, that's way back in CodePlex days. That's right. And that wasn't too long after that, I think, that we started problems. Anyway, so... Wix 3.9, we have a fix in 3.10. Um, I think we should do the first Wix 3.10 build on Monday, like we normally would. Okay. And we should go hunt down and verify the fix in that build. So maybe, Bob, add a comment to that bug about, can you please verify this in the first 3.10 build, just to make sure that it does fix this thing. Um, I don't have any real help content laying around to verify that it was. That well... Is. Yeah, it's it's, it's I verified the old, that the, old style help, right? So it's only for 2005 and 2008. Yeah, so so I did double check the work and open it up in depends and open up all the things. So it looks like a DLL again. 
right. but actually verifying that it works is a different problem. So I think it'd probably be good to get 310 built so that this guy who has the help stuff can verify that it works. Seems reasonable? Yep. Agreed. All right. All right. That'd be good to get a... Th Actually, if we get a 310 build out, then, you know, I can also talk about the fact that Votive is supported in Dev 14. Yes. So, so, so th sorry, 310 is going to happen on, on Monday. Like, we'll have a 310 build like we normally would on Monday. Uh, it'd be good to get that guy that has the code to verify his fix. The question then is how do we want to release the bug fix itself? I tossed out the idea of doing something, you know, cheesy that we did before um, and uh, we just zip it up and put it out there as a separate download going, if you use this, stomp over it. Um, we could re-release the whole thing with a higher version number if we wanted. Um, I, I'm, I'm looking for opinions on whatever we want to do. As for Visual Studio 2005 and 2008, um, how many customers are affected? Can you count them on one hand or do you need two hands? <laughs> Probably not. A, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not a lot. I think it's a very low number. Again, you know, 2010 is is pretty much the XP of Visual Studios. I've seen very little. We got one person who filed a bug asking for 2008 support to be, you know, added back for Wix 3.9. Like, wow, okay. That was almost surprising, but it was one person. Mm -hmm. You know, there was no feedback when, you know, a year ago I said we we're going to deprecate it, you know, in 3.8. I just I don't see this affecting any number of people. In fact, this is the kind of thing that, truthfully, I'd, I'd like to do like a I don't know uh, some kind of a, a side project for functionality like this that just is very stale. I, I'm being, no, I'm being completely serious. This is yeah. this is stuff we have to carry along and maintain. And oh look, this is what happens. You know. Um, we don't have, we have no way of, you know, detecting this, except for people reporting bugs. And and so you're saying a side project that could release on its old cadence, thus pick this up, which of course means it will be broken every time we change something in Wix and it has to get updated. But well, yeah, I mean, it would be tied to, it would basically be tied to those changes. We would certainly release. So we'd release an RTM Wix three, or, or an RTM Wix, and then we'd have to go find that project and verify and build it. All right. That's neither yeah. here nor there. What do we want to do with this it's one right sep now? separate probably? problem. Yeah. Yes. I'm um, not against that. That's an interesting discussion. We can bring it up some yep. other week. Yes. <laughs> um, um, I don't... I don't I don't want to go through a whole servicing release. It'd be interesting if it were, like, a serious bug, but it's not, and... I just don't want to go through the work and, and you know, the whole release process and everything. I don't want to go through that for something that affects so few people. If we had a bug, you know, a serious bug, if we had, like, an actual, you know, zero-day... Security problem? Uh, sorry, a not a security problem. problem. You know, no, this was a different zero-day. This is the, you know, oh, look, we fixed a bug after we quote-unquote shipped and before anyone got it, but we don't have that anymore, do we? Um, yeah, if, if, it, if it was a nice bug, I'd be, you know, I'd actually almost like to do a servicing release just to kind of say that we've done it so we know we could if we, you know, found something more serious, but, man, this isn't the bug. So zip file with the extension in it? It's cheesy, but, hey, nothing wrong with cheese. Yeah, so, Tobias is bringing up the point of, hey, can we tell people to use 3.10? And the answer is, you could use 3.10, but you're going to be stuck, and if there are any issues, then you're going to have to keep rolling forward, and you're going to be stuck on a build that's going to roll roll away, and so on and so forth. So it's not really an option to jump onto a 3.10 in the middle of nowhere. Um
So, all right, we're going to do this lightweight because the customers don't, because there doesn't seem to be enough customer impact to justify doing all the work it would take to do a real release and a real patch and all that kind of stuff. Um, um, I'm okay with that. And, and you know, we can always reevaluate that if we have to. We can always come back and go. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, wow, lots of people are hitting this problem and not finding the zip file. <laughs> we probably should go do a real fix or something. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's the plan. Um, so we'll get the fix in 3.10. We'll, we'll verify the fix hopefully next week. So we want to shoot for like December 1st-ish to try to do the zip file and all that. Um, that would be about the earliest, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, sorry, so the plan is you want to merge the fix in 3.10 to 3.9 and then rebuild 3.9? I have to figure out how I want to um, get the build machine back to a state where it will build just this fix and 3.9. Okay, okay. I have, I have, I have options. I've not decided which option I want to pick. Um, I also want to get the release, um, just get the release, the master branch updated with the fix too. And so, oh, sure. So it'll be. I just haven't decided. Like I said, I have options. I don't know which one I want to do yet. Yeah. Okay. All right. So all of this was about Wix bug four six zero zero. In case people were wondering, which I don't think there's any real question about that. Um, all right, so can you go back and add a comment to 4600 for this guy to know that there's a 310 build with this fix? We'd like him to verify it before we uh, push the fix to 39 and get him a fix for 39. All I have to do is figure out a way to remind oh, myself. No, sorry, that's not going to work because he didn't comment on that bug. That's the one that... Actually, he did comment on that bug. He'll get a comment. Yeah, go ahead. That'll do it. Okay. Yeah, he'll, he did leave a comment on there, which means he'll get the mail notification. Cool. That works. All right. On to more exciting things. Wix feature 4149. Uh, I'm going back to the web. Oh, yeah, this bug, right? Yeah, see, he left a comment, so it'll be good. All right. Uh, 4149. So there are dueling pull requests for this, I think. Is that correct? Um, kind of, sort of, yep. Yeah, and, and Sean's working on the one that I think we had the discussion as we did before. Sean, do you have a decent mic today? No issues there? Oh, no, I've lost my mouse. Have I lost my mouse? I've lost my mouse. Lovely. It's Link. Oh, whatever. I guess I'm not going to fight with it. Um, so what do we want to discuss here? This wasn't even my discussion. <laughs> I was like, whatever. Um the guy that opened the bug isn't going to be here either, is he? Can I unmute you? Sean, do you have a mic? Hello? Hello? This is, you had something about this, maybe. He's going to tell me no. Um, well, this, I mean, I can, I can also. Yeah, I have a mic. All right. Oh, there we go. Um, I, I, I have, I'm just like, well, yeah, let's do the right thing personally, but what's the... What are we doing? So I guess his pull request is easier to implement, I guess. Is that that's why he wants it? Well, he wants a fix. <laughs> and so he did the, the straightforward thing, which is take all the controls and duplicate them, and then control inside the BA which ones show up, which just means lots of more things. And then we have to fix the Wixel files, because they'll all be broken, because you'll be missing identifiers. And because there's a whole bunch of new identifiers, as you would expect for all that and things like that. So it's like, that's that's the one that requires more work to maintain over time. But it's less code up front, probably. Well, it, it requires more code to, uh, on the user side, more work on the user side because of the, the Wixel changes. Um, I was also interested in the work in moving from 3x to 4 because of, of the better fix we have in four, 
with all the conditional text, and then Sean reminded me that that's going to be a problem anyway. The Wixel files still, is, the problem with the Wixel files will still exist, though. If someone has a customized, um, it's pretty narrow, though, right? It's only if they have a stock theme with custom Wixel files, which, you know, they're, they're going to, that's going to happen, right? That's someone translating uh, the English Wixels into any language that they need. Suddenly, they will have missing strings if they're using the stock theme. Now, if they've customized the theme, they're not going to get any of these benefits. And that's unfortunate, but, you know, I guess acceptable. Well, yeah. I mean, that's why I, the feature is interesting to me, because then you don't have to keep duplicating things and stuff like that. Right. Well, this is, you know, this is, the fix that Sean made in 4 is, is I think, where we want to go, definitely. Um, the problem is, in, you know, in 3X, it's like, we have, we have, I don't want to call it a brute force method. It's, it's fine. It's appropriate. It's what we did in, in, you know, the original Wix UI. Um, it's what you got to do, and I'm mostly okay with the the changes in in Wix standard BA. Uh, I have a little bit of feedback on that before I, you know, take the take the change. Um, I guess my only question slash concern is, given that this is a breaking change, albeit you know kind of one to be expected. Um, does that does that mean we should you know I don't know I guess basically fix this bug at all in 3x is what it boils down to. Yep, I think that's a um, the only the only thing that's missing, and this is one of my original um, concerns about this kind of change is you know we're du we're making lots of duplicates, but we always miss some. <laughs> yeah, so it's not hard. Yes. Maintenance, maintenance is the problem. Yeah. Well, in this case, the the change out there covers install, uninstall, and repair, but leaves off modify, and we can probably leave off other actions as well. But modify is one where you know it's just going to be generic, which you know might be okay, because truthfully, I think it's fine if you have a generic message, even for other actions, but. Obviously, people disagree with that because we've had this bug and people seem to really want it. So there you go. I guess I'm leaning toward taking the change once it's, you know, up to snuff. Okay. So when you talk about taking the change, it was submitted against four. So are you taking it in three or four? Um, Not in four. No. Four. Uh, I thought for sure I saw it in... Oh! I didn't see it at all in four. Never mind. Huh? Uh, okay, yeah, never mind. Sorry, I thought the change was against four. No, it is. Uh, sorry, I... I, I thought it was against three. I'm so confused. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, okay. Yeah, no, that changes things. I'll, oh, I'll okay. shut up because I don't no, care no, about. It. No, so so we're taking like we're gonna get Sean's thing to the right direction for four. Like, yes, because I mean, that's gonna be goodness. The question is, would we take this against three? Because the guy in the mail thread was talking three. I thought um, so an easier fix would we take it and then. Right. Sorry. Yeah, that was my impression as well. That's why I talked for the last five minutes. Um, so, so let's go back and assume that he'll redo his – you're, you're going to feedback on the pull request, which is basically not here and fix these things when you take it against three, and yeah. I will take it is the end result. So I guess my comments on that would be not to take his – and to do something like the content where you can just um, you know, do the text conditionally based on the context. Isn't that what, what? Your, most of your fix is? I mean, 
the work? I haven't done that yet because we haven't decided on the yeah. name, I guess. Sure. Yeah, sure. But, but I mean, like, but you were saying I mean, you didn't want to take your fix down. Right, but if you look at Jacob's uh, first draft, I guess, mm-hmm. I mean, you could do something like that. I mean, Jacob I'm, might want to do that. I'm really afraid of having all that code drift in different directions. Yeah. John's like, I'd prefer a consistent approach. I agree with that. Um, yeah, I don't want two different ways of doing content or conditions and all that kind of stuff in three and four. That will be challenging. Well, I think like you would author it the same way, but behind the scenes it'd be different. Sorry, I, I really do mean the code. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, 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 I worry about us a lot, too. Okay. Because uh, having been in Wix for a decade and a half, <laughs> the more code as it drifts away gets harder and harder to deal with. And so there's there's a lot to be said for creating stuff that's maintainable. Um, well, that's, why, that's why I don't want the code drifting significantly in things that are common. Well, it's it's going to drift. I mean, this is this is the the problem with you know two two branches right if if we're doing bigger things in four that we can't or won't backport then three is going to drift you know that's just yeah i you're, you're right you're right. i guess i was just like it was less i guess is what but well i mean that that's not inevitable right we could just say this is not we don't want the drift and we're not going to take it but it just means that you know the change in three doesn't happen. Um, and again, this is something, you know, I, I don't have strong feelings about this change, but it has come up repeatedly. So I'd like to, I'd like to see us do something in this space. And I guess I'm, I'm inclined to do less or all, kind of, you know, not halfway in between, I guess, is kind of what I'm saying. Does that make sense? Like, do the minimal no. fix. Do, What's do the less? minimal. Do the minimal fix. What's minimal? I, I think. Well, isn't it the duplication here? Or is it really creating that content with the condition? Is that less? The, it, doing sorry, like basically the existing uh, pull request. Yeah. Well, I, 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 you, you know what? I, I, I'm not deep enough in it. Um, well, okay. So, uh, as a general theme, it's you know duplicated controls. If that is the one that he's provided. Yes. And Sean put out the thought that, I, and I, I, I'm just going to backtrack on what I said before. I haven't thought enough about what it would be to take Jacob's fix into three X. Sorry, uh, what Jacob's fix? I don't. Uh, Jacob had okay. a smaller change to Sean's that was just con- content controls with conditions on them, right? Right. So I, I think the condition route is non-breaking because you're still using the same control. So then everything will work with the old themes. Except the Wixel files will be broken. Right, right. That's still a problem. Well, no, the Wixel files are fine. You'll need no, more text. you'll need new strings. Because if, if we update the theme, then we update the Wixel file. Right. I, oh, but sorry. I guess if they're using a custom Wixel with the default theme, then I guess it would be breaking. At this right. point, I would be touching my nose and pointing at you. What does that All mean? Right. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Describing the physical action actually used more words than just saying it outright, but okay. <laughs> sorry. Um, okay, but I'm sorry. Both These are all things we've talked about in Wix 4, right? So we don't have... A no. different proposal for th- for three ten. At this point, I expect we have no proposal for three because all the code is written against four. <laughs> well, yeah, fine. That's that's fine. But so the question is, what code do you want in three, if any? Well, I I I want the four code because I want as little drift as possible and you know blah blah blah, and as as much functionality. But, you know, that's a much bigger change, right? Um, yeah. 
I guess. I mean, I'm 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 still not exactly sure. I don't see any. I don't know. I still don't understand the Jacob's change comment. So I, I don't see it. So I can't comment on it. Yeah, um, he, didn't, he hasn't sent pull requests. What, what was it based? Sean, was it based off of your work to add the variables and stuff in Themutal? I'm sorry, can you say that again? I, I think was, Sean's work was based on Jacob's work. So basically what I'm, my work is moving all of the standard BA stuff that Neil wrote in 3.8, and it's moving it into Themutal for 4. So Jake, what Jacob did was he did the content stuff in Wix standard BA in the same line as Neil's changes. And then I would implement in Themutal, Themutal like the rest of my changes. Right. So this is variables and conditions. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, those those are all absolutely the way forward, especially to to move it out of Wix standard BA and into Dutil, whether it yeah you know, part of Themutil and or separate. But that's a big change. I don't want that in three. Okay. So good. That's I'm glad we were clear on that. Yes. Because for a second I thought you were saying you wanted that. Well. I, I don't I don't like the divergence. Yeah. Well, uh, no, I, I I bet we're we're four is moving forward. Three will be what it was. Is yeah. The question is always how much investment do you want to do in three on features? Like that's what we're coming down to. Right. And and I believe it was John who made the point. What is the three X end of life? Yeah, we're all kind of waiting for that. Now, Blair yes. has raised a good point that we could come up with different, you know, theme files, which, of course, is just more work <laughs> yeah, and more drift, or not drift, right. more work, but that would solve the Wixel break thing. If we did multiple themes, then we might as well take this guy's kind of fix and call it good. Uh, yes, but this is, <laughs> man, this is why, this is why Wix UI stagnated once we got, you know, kind of the, the, Top ten libraries, top ten dialogue sets, because duplicating all this stuff, yes, you know, you're just you're you're it's a it's a damn matrix, and I don't want to I don't want to blow it out like that. We had to do that. Remember, we had to do that already um, with all the themes that uh, Neil added. Yeah, I know, and it makes me sad. Um, to keep to keep you know, moving it forward like that, I, just, I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, Which means you're you're taking a Wixel breaking change if you want this change. Yeah. Well, I, truth. Well, Tobias, we're we're not saying that there are no new features. There are some features. We have some stuff uh, coming into Burn, for example, and you know. I do consider work on Votive and, and the native SDK to be, you know, features that we'll have for yeah. 2015. Well, yeah, I mean, th those are really big features. The difference between those features and this thing we're talking about is yeah. those features have no breaking change. Like, yeah, right, everything's if, added. If you bring your code forward, it just keeps working. So if you go from 3.9 to 3.10 with this change, Suddenly, you're you're getting dialogues and uninstall that you don't think to test, or maybe you do think to test. They're not localized, and you're standing there going, "What just happened? This doesn't happen in Wix upgrades." So we have to make conscious decisions when we do that to say, "Yeah, when you go from 3.9 to 3.10, you're you're broken if you did this." And, and I'm that's the only thing I'm, you can say. Well, <laughs> there are probably other things. Um, <laughs> No, but, but this is one. This is one where if you do a perfectly normal, natural thing, you build using a stock theme, and you customize the logo. so it's so it's built into yeah. You can customize the logo. You can customize cer certain things without changing the theme. Right. So, but but you know you deliver to you know efigs prj languages. So you had to localize those wixels. You know, for your theme, and now suddenly you upgrade and you are broken. Well, one, it's better to be broken than to be silently broken. 
loudly broken versus silently broken. So yeah. so having that that you know build time failure is a good thing, um, but it does mean that you're broken. And and what's your recourse? Okay, you could go to a customized theme and take out the extra controls. Okay, that's not bad. Um, we could also implement this fix documented and not have the, the standard theme use it, a.k.a. it's the mix of all of these. It's like the, yeah, we support this, but we didn't turn it on because it would break your Wixel files. Here's how you could turn it on yourself, a.k.a. introduce a custom theme, go forward. This is why they pay you the big bucks. Well, it, the standard BA disables the text controls, so you'd have to have a bunch of fallback codes saying if this control exists, if this control exists. Correct, but we already have that, and we're going to, we may end up needing to do, well, I mean, if we don't do the breaking change, we're going to need to do that anyway. And Actually, honestly, we the, probably need to do that anyway, because if they have a custom theme, they're going to get weird stuff too. So all in all, we probably already need that for back combat. Or we're yeah. doing what Bob said, which is just, it doesn't work, right? Because that means and that on the uninstall success page, everything's blank, and you're sitting there going, what the heck just happened? Well, it's because it right. turned off the controls, which were, which were the only controls you had in the past. <laughs> Um, and, and this change does this basically. They're, everything is wrapped around theme control exists. Oh, so good. so it already did it. Good, good, good. I mean, he's in the right direction then. I mean, that's yeah. Good. No, no. The the change apart from um, apart from the fact that he's missing the modify action, it, the code change is fine. Um, but I, th and I think it's against four. <laughs> so uh, yes, that is also a problem. Um, but I I think. I think I think that's the right way to go. All right, so Tobias, I just want to understand what you're saying. People who need that prior, I the the uh, the pronoun or whatever that is is killing me here. So people who need the updated theme before four can use a customized theme. Is that what you're agreeing with? I think you need yes, that good. functionality. So, so I, we just got another plus. Basically, John, in his awesome way, and Tobias beat him to the punch in this case with more words. <laughs> We just got two plus one, so we got a plus two there um, on a middle ground between all these things for taking it. So, yeah. so, and Blair gives you no Blair. You can only give a plus one, but we'll, we'll yeah. Joking. Now we're I'm up joking. to plus five. It's too confusing. <laughs> hey, we just proved that Bob can add. Um, well, single digits. <laughs> that's true. Well, yeah. Uh, so whichever way, um, uh, yeah, I'm. I like where we're going in four and three. I'm 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 more ambivalent. If we do anything, I like the this middle ground proposal. Yeah, Not everybody only, else seems to be on. Yeah, the only downside is, of course, there's no um, example. There's no example, and there's no no easy test. So I think we need to add one theme. Oh man. What if we, we just dock it? What if we actually do the work to dock the whole feature? That's well, going to add more value in the end anyway. We have to do that anyway. So how about just dock it? Because there's no example and there's no easy no, test. The dock, the dock will have it in the end. Oh, you the want dock to test? The dock won't have the test. Yeah. No, you're right. There will be no easy test. Unless we... Exclude. We create one and build it, but we exclude it from the lot, from the Wix lib. Or we name it something that you don't. That's not documented. And then excluding oh. is better because that doesn't take space. But yeah, yeah. Okay, I'd be okay with that. Is or that put it in a payload that you have to reference directly. Oh, you could do it by referencing a payload directly. Uh, I don't know. We we can come up with something. <laughs> I, There's degrees of freedom in there. We'll, we'll pick. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. No, I think I think that's the way to go. We 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 add. We add a theme. Uh, yeah, we figure out how we don't ship it, except we do, um, so that you can build one and and actually, you know, feel comfortable with it, and it serves as the basis for the dock. That makes sense. Yeah. So I. I, I would like to argue that this is a new feature independent of 4149. That 4149 will be the 40 implementation because that's what it actually is right now. When we look at the bug, it says 40. Um, that we create, that we create a new bug that is the 
appropriate thing, but done a different way. Four three. Four three. Ten. And get this guy to move his pull request to fix that bug instead. And then yep. Sean's bug, Sean's pull request will not mention that bug in history, and so on and so forth. And it will be clear what happened. <laughs> <laughs> clear clear as it, I mean, clear as it can be after a, I mean, we just spent 20 minutes discussing this thing, which does not surprise me, which is why Jacob wanted to have this conversation here, because yep. this was, this is, this is, this is why it was not moving forward in email very easily. It was like, there's all these things to think about. And yeah. I think a lot of it is, you know, background that you and I have, Bob, of the whole, you know, background feature. So the, the background of the, how to do um, backwards compatibility. Right, right. And what's important and what's not important to us and that kind of stuff. So after doing this for how long have you been doing this? 11 years? 12 years? 10. Well, this. Wix, just 10 years. All right, 10. I didn't remember when it started. I'm a newbie. Yeah, just 10. Yeah, you're a newbie. <laughs> you want to talk about newbie? Sean's a newbie. But... Oh, that's right. Oh, and if only I could have the two of them, like, I don't know do my homework for me or something <laughs> a nice hazing yeah we have no hazing ritual that, 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 that's, uh, that's so passe anyway all right so i think in all of this bob got a work item to write a bug about it or a feature about yeah it. i need a work item to write the work item before yeah. i forget yeah because i don't want you to forget about it because it was complex yes. enough that you know <laughs> yeah i hope you're taking notes and then because I, I don't sure i was taking notes so. i i i'm I mean, the question is, do you want to have a whip for this? Um, and if so, then you can put it on a whip and don't put it in the bug. Have the bug be really small and put it on a whip. And that may make more sense because then it will be indexable and searchable, you know, more so in the future kind of thing. But your call on that one for three. Um, if you wrote the whip, it could practically be the documentation. Hmm. I feel like I'm being set up here, but <laughs> quite put my finger on it. I would never do that. I mean, that, yeah. that'd be like me saying we should assign pe bugs to people when they're not here. Right. <laughs> I would never do and, that. And that's something you've done for <laughs> ten years. So. Only if they deserve it, and you know that's true. But but everyone deserves it. <laughs> Um, oh, I knew there was one thing I forgot to put on the agenda. Can we move on? Do you have enough notes, Bob? I don't. Uh, um... Yes, go ahead. Okay. Um... So I'm going to open question and comments, but first I forgot uh, to add to the agenda. We need a holiday schedule. Um, what are we doing for the next, you know, month and a week? Eh, we'll say month and two weeks. Um, I'm going to vote that we don't do anything on um, Turkey Day. Um, these are American holidays, by the way, which I think only affects Tobias. Uh, but anyway, um, so um, so anybody want to vote that we should have a meeting next Thursday on Thanksgiving Day? Well, John's going to be migrating from 2010 TFS to 2013. I am. On Thanksgiving, seriously, because wow, that's, that, yeah. that's a horrible thing to be. I'd about. rather be in a. I would far rather be in this meeting, but yeah, okay. Um, all right. So, with nothing else, I'm just going to say we're not going to have a meeting next week. Um, the three weeks after that, the fourth, the eleventh, and the eighteenth of December, I think we can. Um, uh, we could probably do meetings. Does anybody want to? suggest nixing any of those like just you know we're not gonna have enough people around the 18th to bother the 11th the 4th there might be a drop off on the 18th but well that's why I'm weeks. asking do we want to the right, first couple well, weeks in December are probably you know still yeah, especially pretty lively. we're gonna have the 3-9 thing we probably would like to get that covered as much as possible um, yep. so alright so we'll plan to do that then I would vote that we not do anything on Christmas Day um, I'm certainly not going to be here because I have a little one that will be very excited about that, and I'm sure I'm not going to have nine to ten. I'm going to go. Do, it'll be like, yeah, right. Um, so yeah, that's not going to happen. The first, I'm 
I think most people would just be like, yeah, you know what? I was up all night. How about we not do this? Is oh, that, yeah, that's right. Is that an appropriate assumption? People good with that? Yeah, I think so. All right, good. Finally, I'm getting some people saying yes. This 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 empty silence always gives me the weird. Which means we'll be back the eighth. So in the next, uh, let's say in the next month, we're gonna. Sorry, the next two months. So to the end of January, it will be fourth, eleventh, eighteenth of twelfth, and then the eighth, fifteenth, twenty second of January. Well, basically the eighth of January will be back on target. Good. Good. That works. All right, cool. Uh, we'll try to continue to push Wix builds as there's interesting stuff on Monday builds. You know, basically do the same thing. If there's contributions that come in, we try to get a build. If we miss it one week, we try to get it the next week, um, unless people are really hurting for builds. But I haven't heard anybody really. Uh, they've all been waiting for a three nine. Um, pull request on four five six eight. Bob, do you know pull request? Or oh, is that bug four five six eight? Yeah, bug four, five, six, eight. I can just type. Hey, my mouse came back. How nice. I do not understand why that thing disappears. Allow checkbox and modify page. Uh, is this from the guy that didn't sign the assignment agreement? Oh, let's go use. No, Tobias. this is this is yeah. We have the two of them. All right. Well, uh, kill one and use Tobias because he actually has an agreement. Yes. What did I? Yeah, and this is a very simple change. Okay. I don't yeah. know why I didn't didn't look at this before the. Uh... They're different though. Oh, look at Sean being on top of the game. No. All right, so Tobias, why don't you uh, um, add a oh, add a different. commit to your pull? Just add a commit to that branch that you did the pull from, and it will show up in the pull request, and then Bob can take it whenever that sounds good, and I'll let you guys finish closing on that, and we can declare success. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. I see. I, on its own repair. Okay, those are the two differences. Yeah. If cool. Nice, we could do that. Then, then yep. that'll be it. So that'll basically grow this bug fix a little bit, but that's okay in the pull request. It's like, hey, I fixed this bug, and I saw this other problem. Um, I saw Blair asking questions earlier about hidden variables not working in 3.9. That's not good. I thought my tests were passing on that, but now I'm going to have to go back and try them again. Has anybody else done that? John, you're usually on it. Do you have any hidden variables in 3.9? I swear my test is running. But now I'm going to go and find out that I'm running something else. We're all waiting for John to finish typing. Hidden variables. All right, so hopefully this is not all right, Blair, you have two people that think it works, so I'm going to go, or you have you have one and a half people that <laughs> think it works, because I'm only half a vote at this point. So let's go figure that out. That's something we can cover in email if it actually is busted. And if so, then, well, I'm sure that if that's true, then we're going to have a fix, and I'm going to turn around and get the guys fire shot on that immediately. <laughs> We, um, we might get that servicing release after all. And then we might reevaluate what we just decided for 3.9. If we blew up burn in some way, then yeah, we'll do a new release or something. Which would be yeah. sad. Obviously the normal logs, 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 logs. <sighs> yeah, but this is a conversation we go have on the Wix devs meeting, or devs alias, so we don't have to do that here. Um, I don't that works? Because it's basically, does this bug exist? Here's what I did, here's the thing. Yeah, that's easy to do in, in things. All right, cool. Sounds good. Anybody got anything else in the last five minutes? Things look pretty good, I think, in general. We're getting through it. Wish we didn't have any bugs, but, you know, that would be <laughs> magical. Um, Fewer than the previous meeting. True. Yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah. I, I meant the 3.9 release, but yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, that. So, all right, well, if that's all we got, I think we're good to go. Um, I'm first, Sean's next, and Bob's last, since we were mean to Bob last week. So, anyway, as always, it's been fun. We'll see you guys next week. And, oh, not next week, two weeks. We'll see you in two weeks. Two weeks. I'm out. Sean. Bye. Bye, Bob. Bob. Happy Turkey Day. <laughs> Cheers.